just, uh, who, who un unjustly? I think, for example, you've just said two people who have just merely made an accusation of a person and he has not been convicted could also be included in that register. It's very open to abuse as far as I'm concerned and injustice. If somebody is convicted and they've been convicted and that information is contained within the police record, even today, if one wants to and if the law is made to allow a, such information to be made available on request, it's a different discussion. But I think justice must be at the forefront of it. Everyone must know that it is not acceptable. There should be a culture change, and more importantly, there should be a program to support all to, so that they don't do this and we end the cycle of violence all the way. Kelvin yeah, McKen Kel Kel yeah, Kel McKenzie, do you think uh, this is a valuable well, I tool? I think my main issue about this is how on earth is this going to be conducted? Um, it's not a conviction, we've agreed on that, it's an allegation. Yeah. You're looking at two sets of, uh, by the way, I think ACPO have gone completely barmy. I think, I think they've got not enough work to do as, as senior police officers to come up with this. But, um, uh, the, the, so two allegations made about you. What are you going to do? Uh, you, you're clearly not going to be able to go online, because if you did go online, anybody could find out anything about anybody. So presumably you have to go to some department. And when you go to the department, what are you going to say to them? Say, look, I've been going out with, with X for how many months? Can she then, does she then have to prove it? Does she have to have a countersigned piece of paper by X to allow, to allow him to be checked? And if he won't give it, does that mean that there is a problem? Or is he just a freedom-loving person who's not going to give it? There are a thousand one reasons why this shouldn't happen. However, the general sense that there are people crawling around in the undergrowth who are, who are swamp-like creatures, who are vile, I totally buy it. But being My checked is how are you going to do it? I don't mind anyone checking me, I'd check you. Yes, I know, but supposing know. somebody is not as free-thinking as media savvy <coughs> as your good self, <laughs> right, um, it, it says, actually, well, I don't want to do that. Does the romance end there and then? Is it a question mark? How does it all work? And also, human can relationship. I just, can I Nikki? say another thing? One of the problems with, one of the terrible problems with domestic violence is women will not press charges. I don't know what men's statistics are, but women will not press charges. That woman who died, who was killed the other day, do you remember? Her hand was chopped off, she was killed, and twice they had called, she had called police in, and then they get there and she doesn't press charges against her partner. Ajmal, you were now, going to say something. Is, yeah. Isn't it interest, also very important that the law has changed? There are 20 police attacks so very often, before, on average, before yes, a woman reports yes. this to the police. So why would a register make any difference to I this? I think it's about How would this Because increase? you can see, I, because I it, there's, there's, there are patterns in this behaviour. Men do it again and again, the you men know, who do men it. Who That's think, what Pat argues. Men who think they can touch a woman and physically be violent or be verbally abusive, or a woman for that matter, they need complete re-education, they need different training, they need to be rehabilitated into normal civilised world. You put them on the register, it's not solving the problem. You creating all sorts of barriers in the society would help, but register is not going to help. Mark, well, you, 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 what happened to you a few years ago with an ex-wife well, Let me would, ask you this, because you, you told yeah, me earlier on. Can I ask the lady, just, and I'll tell you, right. would you put me on the register for poking my partner on the arm? Well, yes, that's right. well, explain what you mean. Yes no. Explain what you mean. 20 years ago, I poked my partner on the arm. It went to court, and I was found gu guilty by a magistrate, not a jury, um, of assault. I'll tell you the consequences of that. I had to have supervised access to my son. A little social worker sitting in the background with a clipboard, how I interact with my son for six weeks. Then, because of her taking advantage of the situation and exaggerating that I'm a wife beater, I didn't see my son for 13 years. Was she bruised? She was no injury whatsoever. It was common assault. So you're saying, take it further than that, and I get more punishment, yeah? The Does she have no years, bruise at all? No injury at all. There was maybe a slight red mark, which was marked, but it was thrown out of court. A common assault. I went like, I poked her on the arm well, in an argument out. about access to my son. I didn't see my son for 13 years. I went and seen him on his 16th birthday. And it's been very, very difficult ever since. You, you, I deserve that. I am delighted to answer you. Um, it is very, very difficult to get a conviction for any kind of domestic violence in court. And, and so... Um, one incident, one complaint... And all men, who, all men who abuse women minimise it. And they all say things like it was only a poke. It was only a slap. One complaint, one incident. So I've listened to what you've said... Do I deserve and to I um, know the court system, and I know the legal system, and my knowledge of the legal system is, uh, can I say, you got convicted. 
You were convicted. Only son one, uh, deserved 13 years not seeing his father for that reason. Okay, let's let's hear. You've had your hand up for ages. Go on. Um, I think as victims of abuse, it's it's so hard to get a conviction in the first place. Surely, being on the register will highlight the people that need the rehabilitation mm. and the help. Mm. And I think victims of abuse would welcome somewhere to go to check. Some of them, this is the problem, but uh, by no means all of them. Your gentleman, Blue Shirt, go on. Um, I was going to say that uh, if a, a man is put onto the register for a couple of instances, then say, for example, we rehabilitate this person and he's seen, he's seen the problem, what he's done. He's seen that he's done something bad and he doesn't want, he, he sees that he doesn't want to do anything like that anymore. And he wants to change. Will he still be on that register, even though he says that he's changed? I'm not condoning anything like that because I think it's disgusting, but I'm just saying this is they'd the, be yeah. stuck on it. This is the whole, this is the idea of redemption, isn't it? Christina, not necessarily in redemption, but I know you've got something else to say about this issue. Well, domestic violence is, is obviously, it's an abhorrent crime. There's no doubt about that. Nobody here is saying domestic violence is a good thing. However, the register would actually potentially erode some very fundamental civil liberties that we have. And we do that, I think, very much at our peril. And I just want to say that, that the latest statistics that I've seen, of course, it's statistics down statistics, but one woman, one woman every three days, one man every 10 days is killed by their partner or their ex-partner. So it, it isn't just an issue that divides down the gender lines. It is across, it doesn't, it's no respecter of anything or anyone, anybody, <coughs> bless you, anybody can suffer from domestic violence. But which is the bigger injustice, a man being on the register or a woman being killed, Ray? Well, I think there's, I mean, Pat mentioned <coughs> earlier about the, uh, the, the body count and, and yes it is, it is higher for women deaths than for men deaths but I think we've just had a wonderful example here of another form and very important form of domestic abuse of denial of seeing one's children for 13 years now um, that really isn't regarded by the courts as, as, as any matter for prosecution yet I think most of us who've experienced that kind of thing would say it's the worst possible thing that anybody could do to me. Um, and one statistic that isn't looked at when you talk about the body count is that um, so many men are driven to suicide when they lose touch with their children, when they're denied reasonably a relationship with their children. The male suicides are triple female suicides. This is happening time and time again within Fathers for Justice. Well, we, very quickly. We, we find this all the time. I just want to say that many women who suffer domestic abuse also commit suicide. Now, I'm in favour of the register the, the, the being gender neutral. I have no objection. Three times as many men. Okay, let's Mark, not, Mark, let's let's not finish brush your point very quickly yeah, if you could. I have no objection to the register being gender neutral. I think that's very important. But if, like me, you've worked with women who've been seriously abused, I remember one case I was involved in when my client was raped. Okay. The police took we proceedings. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We have to leave it there. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you after Christmas. Have a